Hello, Brentano violinists, and welcome to your second virtual violin lesson. I have my violin right out in front of my case, just like we're in normal class, so I suggest you do the same so you can be ready to pick up your violin or put it back down. I'm starting class today, however, with a little quiz for all of you. We have 10 seconds to answer each of these questions, and if you get the answer right, you get a little dance party after each of them. So I'm setting my timer for 10 seconds. Here is your first question. I hope it's not too tricky for you. Okay. How long do you hold a whole note for? 10 seconds. Go on now. How long do you hold a whole note for? Ooh, time's up. All right. A whole note. If you guessed that you hold a whole note for four beats, you guessed correctly and we get a dance party. All right. Second question, who's ready? If you didn't get that last question right, it's okay. We have a couple more rounds. Shake it off, shake it off. We got a couple more rounds. Second question for you all getting my timer ready. How long do you hold a half note for? The timer begins. How long do you hold a half note for? Ooh. All right, a half note. If you guessed that you hold a half note for two beats, you guessed correct and we get Another dance party. All right, guys, we get one more question. If you didn't get those last two, it's okay. We have one more. And if you're not getting any of them right, that's okay as well, because we're still learning stuff. Last question, though. I feel like you are all getting these right. You are all so smart, and you always get these questions in class, but let's see if I can't trick you with the last one. Okay. How long do we hold a quarter note for? 10 seconds begins. How long do we hold a quarter note for, everybody? Yell the answer out super loud if you know. Okay. 10 seconds is up. The answer's in. If you guessed that we hold a quarter note for one beat, you guessed correct and we get our last dance party. Awesome work, everybody. You guys are such smarty pants. I, I know that most of us also know what these notes look like, but I'm going to give you all a little review of what a half note, whole note, and quarter note look like. So you can recognize our whole note because it's an open circle, it's not filled in, and it has no lines going up or down. We have our half note here. A half note looks almost like a whole note, it has a circle that's not filled in, but it does have a line going up. And finally, we have our quarter note. Quarter note is completely filled in, and it has a line. So there are our four, sorry, our three different kinds of notes that we are learning about currently. I have one more quiz for you all, so I hope that you guys can nail this one down. I'm going to play for you a... Um, a major arpeggio, and I'm either going to be playing whole notes, half notes, or quarter notes. And I want you to guess what kind of notes I'm playing, either whole notes, half notes, or quarter notes. Okay, this is round one.
All right, I hope you were counting along, trying to figure out which one I was playing. But if you guessed that I was playing whole notes, you guessed correctly. You guys can have your own little dance party at home. Dance party, dance party. All right, we're gonna move straight on to the next round though. We're gonna play an A major arpeggio again to either whole notes, half notes, or quarter notes. Try to count with me so you can guess which one I'm playing. All right, how long do you think I was holding each note for? Those quarter notes, half notes, or whole notes? I'm gonna play it one more time. All right, if you guessed that those were quarter notes, you guessed correctly. I hold I hold each of those notes for one beat. Okay, we get a little dance party home. Little dance party, little dance party. Awesome job. Okay, last round. Guess which kind of note I am playing. Whole notes, half notes, or quarter notes. All right, what do you think I was playing? Whole notes, half notes, or quarter notes? If you guess that I was playing half notes, you guessed correctly and you get your final dance party, dance party, dance party, dance party. Amazing job. Okay, I need you all to meet me in rest position so we can start with our real warm ups. All right, now that we're all in rest position together, let's all make sure, first of all, our thumbs are in the thumb spots, our bows are pointed down, our feet are together. Awesome. Since in our last lesson, we really focused on playing whole notes and playing with our whole bow, I wanna focus today on just playing half notes and quarter notes. We're gonna, be, we're gonna play half notes and quarter notes to our A major scale first, and then our A major arpeggio. So let's see if you can follow me at home and getting into playing position. Let's go ahead and hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Awesome. Beautiful. Meet your hands all the way back. And let's look at our mere hands and wave. Hello, beautiful. And good full holds. Make sure we have that bent thumb and bent pinky. Good. Let's go ahead and land on the A string. Don't make any noise. We're going to play half notes first. Now for half notes, you might have to use a little bigger bows than what your tape space has. And that's okay since we've already practiced using our whole bow you will feel more comfortable using more of your bow. But let's try to only use about half of your bow when we're playing half notes. So let's just listen to me play it first. One, two, 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 all right, let's see if we can do that all together on the A string. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 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 one. Awesome. One more time with half notes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 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 one. 
beautiful, beautiful job. Let's go ahead and do our A major arpeggio now to half notes. Just listen to me play it first. E G C sharp two E two I A two I A two E two C sharp two A two. Everybody half notes five six seven eight. A two C two E two I A two I A two E two C sharp two A two again A two C sharp two E two I A two I A two E two C sharp two A two wonderful job don't drop your violins because we're now going to play quarter notes. So each note only gets one beat. Listen to me play the A major scale with quarter notes first. One, two, three. Everybody, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, five, six, seven, eight. All right, keep your violins up. We are going to do, lastly, an A major arpeggio to quarter notes. Listen to me play it first. A, C sharp, E, high A. Everybody, two times in a row, five, six, seven, eight. A, C, E, high A, high A, E, C, A again, A, C, E, high A, high A, E, C, A. Beautiful rest position. Now it's time to take a bow, high toes, high toes, high toes now. Great job, everybody. Let's go ahead, put your violins down, and keep your bows out because we're going to play. Does anybody know what song I'm bowing? Okay, I'm going to play it on my violin. If you guys know what song it it is, go ahead and yell as loud as you can. What song was I just bowing in the air? Oh, I think I heard some of you yell from your houses. Wow, you have some loud voices. If you guessed I was singing, Oh, Come Little Children, you guys guessed correctly. Go ahead and follow, follow my bow. Don't get your violins out yet. Just follow my bow in the air. along with me so let's go ahead and get into rest position feet in line scroll out front is mighty fine check your bridge because it should be peeking out at you and me now it's time to take a bow high toes high toes high toes now beautiful let's all play oh come little children all together 
I'm going to play it two times in a row. So if you feel like the first time you just didn't quite get it, you have one more chance to try to play it along with me and sound like one big violin. Okay, rest position. See if you can follow along with me at home. And remember, we're going up bow first. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job, everybody. Rest position. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes. Now keep yourselves in rest position because it is time for the tape games. Everybody keep themselves in rest position. I hope nobody dropped out of rest position so we can all keep going along together. The first thing I need you all to do is play the first line of lightly row landing every single finger on the tape of your string. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the song for everybody the whole way through so we can be reminded. Go ahead and either sing the notes or sing the lyrics. I love this song. It's one of my favorite songs in our Suzuki book. Hello, mouse, in your house. I am walking up your stairs. Hello, mousey, in your housey. Open up and let me in. Won't you let me eat your cheese? On your sofa, pretty please. Hello, mousey, in your housey. Open up and let me in. Amazing. So we're just playing the first line, landing every single finger on the tape. If you can do that, you are one step closer to winning the first round of the tape game. So everybody up in playing position. Meet me there. Get your second finger ready to drop for C sharp. Five. Six, seven, eight. E, C, C, D, E, E, A, E, C, D, E, 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 E. All right. If you weren't able to land every single finger on your tape, you get one more chance. The first line again. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, I had a feeling that everybody was able to do that in either the first or the second try. So if you were able to land every single on the tape for that, you just won the first part of the first round of the tape games. But we have two more things to do before we can win this round. So everyone stay up, stay up in playing position. Now we have to play the whole second line, landing every single finger on the tape. Second line of lightly row. Listen to me play it first. Remember, it's a little bit different, okay? Five, six, seven, eight.
last time if you weren't able to land your fingers down you got one more chance one more chance to land every single finger down we got this five six seven eight <coughs> Beautiful. I have a feeling that we all nailed it that time. All right, guys, this is the last thing we have to do to win the first round of the tape games. Who's ready? Oh, you know what? I don't think I heard anybody yell that they were ready to, to win the game. I mean, we could just stop the game now, not get any cool prizes or stickers. I'm gonna ask one more time. You really, really need to yell loudly so I know that you actually are ready to win the game. Who's ready for the last challenge to win the tape games? Whoa, oh, yeah, okay, we are definitely ready. I heard you that time. So let's get ready to play. This last challenge, we have to play the whole song, lightly row, landing every single finger on the tape. We get two tries to do it, Breathe in, it's a big challenge, but I have a feeling that we can do it. So, everybody have a beautiful position, beautiful mirror hand, beautiful bow hold between the tapes of your bows. Five, six, seven, eight. If you weren't able to do it that first time, you get one more chance. Five, six, seven, eight. we are not finished we have one more round of the tape games to play this time we're focusing on playing in between the tapes of our bow we are still going to play lightly row to make it through all these challenges so this time can we play the third line in between the tapes of our bows we have two chances to try it everybody meet me in playing position Really check the tapes of your bows, guys. The third line of Lightly Row. Listen to me play it first. Everybody, five, six, seven, eight. You get one more chance to try that, everybody. Five, six, seven, eight. Whew, amazing work, guys. We just made it through that first challenge. Who's ready for the second challenge? Say it super loudly with me. Are you ready for challenge number two? Okay, let's do it. We have to do the whole fourth line of lightly row in between the tapes. I feel like we can do this, guys. This is gonna be so easy. In between the tapes of your bows. Last line of lightly row. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> One more 
try in between the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Gosh, guys, that sounded so good. I could tell you all the small little bows in between the tapes. We sounded like one big violin, I could tell. Okay, last challenge. We have to play all of Lightly Row from the beginning to the end, playing in between the tapes of our bows. We get two chances to do it, and then we will have won the tape games for today. So get a beautiful position. Great meter hand, great bow hold, in between the tapes, the whole song of Lightly Row. Five, six, seven, eight. Amazing. I have a feeling we all did that, but let's go ahead and do it one more time in case anybody felt like they weren't staying in between the tapes. Last chance, and then we will have won the tape games, guys. Let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> everyone lift your bow and go woo, 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 woo. everyone get your violin up and go yeah 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 everyone show me your right foot and shake it we did it everyone shake your left foot and shake it we did it amazing okay go ahead and put your violins down you just worked so hard you deserve a little break and today we are going to play four rounds of say it with me guess that sound I will play four notes for you on the violin and I will tell you what those notes are as I am playing them but then I will play one note all by itself and it's up to you to guess what note I played in 10 seconds or less okay Everyone go ahead, take their normal hearing ears off. We're gonna replace those with our supersonic hearing aids because this takes a lot of concentration, a lot of ear training. We've gotta listen so closely to these notes. Although I saw that Alice did really good at this game on Homeroom. She guessed some of those notes right. I wanna see if you guys are all guessing these notes right because I have a feeling it's not just Alice getting these, getting these quizzes Okay, I have my timer ready. I hope you guys are all ready to listen and guess that sound. The first four notes I will play for you are A, B, C sharp, or D. Okay, everybody, here is the note. Ten seconds starts. What was the note? What was the note? What was the note? What did I hear? What was the note? All right, everybody. If you guessed that the note was 
B? You guessed correctly! Amazing! Who's ready for round two? Everybody? That's what I thought. Okay. I'm moving over to the E string now. So the notes could be E, F sharp, G sharp, or high A. Here is the note. 10 seconds starts now. E, F sharp, G sharp, or A. All right. Ten seconds is up. If you guessed that the note I played was G sharp, you guessed correctly. Amazing. We have two more rounds left, so if you haven't guessed any right, it's okay. You still got this. We got two more rounds, and I'm moving over for these last two rounds to the D string. So our notes could be D, E, F sharp, or G. Here is the note. 10 seconds starts now. Note D, E, F sharp, or G. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 10 seconds is up. All right, if you guessed that the note I played was F sharp, you guessed correctly. All right, last round. You guys have worked so good work so hard. I have a feeling you're all getting these answers correctly, but if not, last chance to redeem yourself. I'm going on the D string, so the notes will either be D, E, F sharp, or G. And here is the note. 10 seconds starts. Last round. Gotta get it right. What was the note? What was the note? What was the note? I don't know. Ah! 10 seconds is up, everybody. Okay. If you guessed the note I played was E. <laughs> You guessed correctly! <laughs> Fantastic job, guys. That was an awesome few rounds of Guess That Sound! Please post your results on Homeroom so I can be adding stickers to your sticker chart. Okay, we have one more thing to do, to do before we go today. I want us to all play through Go Tell Aunt Rhody because I saw some hilarious results of what people found in their rooms to eat if there was no more food. So I wanted to take a couple ideas that I saw. I saw that someone would eat a hairbrush. Ouch! Maybe if it still had hair on there, it would be a little extra more filling. So not a bad choice, a hairbrush. I also saw that somebody chose a bow, a violin bow, and might be filling and might have some nutrients, but then what are you going to live with? If you have no food, you at least want to occupy, occupy your time with some violin. Okay, so a hairbrush, a violin bow, and the last thing I saw, I think it was this, this little tiny vase that Ruby posted. It was this little vase of some sort. Um, definitely ceramic would probably crack and, and, and cut you up in, in, in the throat once you ate it, but hey, it looked delicious. So we're going to sing about Go Tell Aunt Rhody and John having to eat a hairbrush, uh, a violin bow, and a tiny vase. So let's all sing it together as we get into rest position. 
Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. He ate a hairbrush and a violin bow. He even ate a tiny vase. Ouch! Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. Okay, let's all sing this song for poor John, who's still in Aunt Rhody's house, still trying to come up with some creative meals that are made from anything but food. I will do the introduction and you will join in. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. Please tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. He ate a hairbrush and a violin bow. He even ate a tiny vase. Ouch. Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. One more time. today everybody I'm so sad that I can't see your faces in front of me as we all play the violin so I need you to please go on homeroom uh, post your practice videos you will get stickers and tickets for that so if any one of you can either post a video practicing your scales to whole notes or playing go talent roadie you will get a ticket for your hard work and showing me that you're doing your hard work at home. So until next time, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. I don't know when you're watching this video and happy practicing.